After a frantic day of deal-making and the first truly competitive race for the presidency of the European Parliament in years, Antonio Tajani can now get down to business. However, the Italian is faced with a fair few challenges with regards to the different political forces at work. I aim to build bridges with everybody, so I will make sure that the parliament will legislate in compliance with the commitments made in the coalition agreement. The biggest bridge was the one that secured his victory, the new coalition between the European People's Party and the Liberal Aldi. We have a very good political agreement with the EPP concerning the future reforms of the European Union, concerning the better development of the Eurozone governance, and also concerning a much stronger involvement of the European Parliament in the Brexit negotiations. Tajani is caught in between a number of political orientations. Warring factions like the pro-European Liberals and the conservative Eurosceptics, or the German austerity supporters and many Italian MEPs, threaten to disrupt his tenure as president. It's very grateful for him for issuing a statement that he did issue, that he would not push a political agenda, that he distanced himself personally from the EPP-Audi deal. For now there are indeed many bridges to build. His past position as spokesperson for former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has led some to question whether he is fit to lead. This is uh, a president hard to explain to citizens. So the spokesperson of Berlusconi being the next parliament president, he is clearly a president with a lot of distrust in his backpack, as is visible uh, uh, of the many abstentions. Of course, Berlusconi will not find too many fans in the political elite, and as a former associate, Tajani might find his reputation precedes him. But now it's down to business. With the ominous Brexit rumbling in the background, Tajani has said the European Parliament will take an active role in negotiations.